Hey, Facebook friends, it's Wednesday afternoon, uh, the first day to be together this week. Thanks for uh, giving me a couple of days off uh, as I celebrated <clears throat> celebrated my daughter's high school graduation this week, um, which uh, makes me think uh, about some things from um, long ago from my own high school graduation. I, I still carry a pocket knife uh, that I was given as a graduation gift. It's inscribed uh, with that year should I say the year 1988, a few, a few years ago. But, uh, but what's amazing is that that pocket knife is still in prime working condition. Uh, it's almost as if uh, it were made, uh, you know, not to break. Uh, it's, it's made not to break. It's of uh, such good quality. And that's a contrast with a lot of the things that we encounter today, which uh, seem to be made, made to break, made to be disposable, that, that can't be repaired and can't be fixed. Uh, so I've got this pocket knife that I've been carrying around for more than a, more than a few years. That it, it almost can't break. I, I want you to know uh, that there's some of you who are followers of Jesus, and, and you need to know that God's done some things uh, in your life, things that you can't break. Uh, I, I think we have an assurance in Scripture uh, that when God works in our lives, that that when when God saves us through uh, the blood of Jesus Christ, when we come to Him and trust Him as Lord and Savior, that we're we're entrusting a part of our to him that, that, that we can't mess up, that, that we can't break, and that he's already factored, uh, that he's already factored our uh, our frailties and our failures uh, into uh, into his plan when he when he called us, when he redeemed us, when he uh, set us apart for his purpose. You know, when Joshua uh, when Joshua was leading the people of God across uh, across the Jordan River into the Promised Land, you know, they set up an altar there, and part of the reason he sets up an altar of rocks there uh, is to remind them that God has done something here. When they walk by and they'd see those stones, uh, they wouldn't think that, well, they just, you know, they just, you know, occurred naturally or uh, that they weren't there just because uh, some people got together and decided that, that, well, there should be an altar there. But this was a sign uh, of something that God had done that was unbreakable for them, that God had led them, made them a people, taken them out of Egyptian slavery, taking them across the Red Sea, and then he sort of repeats that miracle again for them by taking them across the Jordan River on dry ground to give them the land that God had given them. That was something that was unbreakable. God, uh, God, God had done something to, to form them, to work in them. There's a straight line, I think, from that from, from that miracle, the miracle of, uh, of, of the creation of God's people out of, uh, out of slavery. There's a straight line from there to the message of the cross, to the work of Jesus for you and for me. Uh, and I think many of us need that assurance. We need that assurance um, that uh, that we just can't miss things up uh, right now. That uh, that there's some things that God's done for us that can't break. So I just want to assure you of that right now. Assure you of God's mercy, of God's goodness, uh, of the uh, uh, of His uh, of His long-term interest and investment in, uh, in in your life right now. That God's already done some things that uh, that, that that you can't break. Uh, so just rest in him, rest in his goodness and rest in his peace. Let's pray together for that today. Father, we thank you for uh, the gift of your life. We thank you that you uh, called people thousands of years ago. You, you did some things in people's lives. You established your people uh, and you did it in ways that they, that they couldn't undo, that they couldn't break. Father, let us claim that same promise now through Jesus that you have uh, bought for us a, a life, a, a hope, a future uh, that is unbreakable. And as Jesus says, that, that, that no one will snatch from his hand uh, those that are entrusted to him. Uh, it's in his name that we pray. Amen. Hey, friends, thanks for checking in on this Wednesday afternoon. Uh, God bless you. We'll see you again soon.